Hello, my name is Robbie Ferry from Yolio. And in this video today, we're gonna to be talking about which wheel set is best for you, 650B or 700C. So let's start by talking about 650B. 650B is equivalent to 27.5 inch, which is a very common mountain bike size wheel. So this is one of my gravel bikes. This has a 650B wheel set. So let's start by talking about the advantages. So the first thing being 650B wheels are a little bit more rugged than 700C. Them being smaller and wider in the internal rim does make them glutton for more punishment. So if you're planning on doing some really rough trails, 650B, is fantastic because it is very strong. The next thing you get with 650B wheels is because they are smaller, they accelerate much better and they are ever so slightly wider. So out of the two, you're gonna get a better accelerating wheel out of a 650B. The next thing is handling. With a smaller wheel, it does make the bike much more nimble. So one thing I noticed when I first started riding 650B was just how easy it was to fling the front of the bike round and to work away around objects much more controlled and much easier. It had a lovely agile feeling about it. The next thing to speak about is tyres. So the beauty of 650B is because the wheel is smaller, you have a bigger gap to fit tyres in. So typically a lot of gravel bikes can use 650B and 700C, but if you opt for the 650B, you have more tire clearance. So for example here, I'm actually running 27.5 mountain bike tires on this gravel bike. But if I was to be using a 700C wheel, I wouldn't be able to do that. The next thing to mention about tires when it comes to 650B is, because you can use bigger tires, you can run much lower pressures as well. So you get more comfort and you get more grip from that. So now we need to speak about the disadvantages of 650B wheels. So firstly, top speed. Because the wheels are smaller, it is much harder to hold the top speed. And you'll notice that if you're out trying to ride with the roadies. The next thing to mention is tires. Although you do get a huge variety of tyres in the 27.5 inch mountain bike range and the 650B gravel range, when it comes to finding tyres that are going to be a little bit more do it all or be better for the road, you are very limited in choice. The final disadvantage is when you do go to a smaller wheel on the front and back, you will find the bike to be very nimble and agile and sometimes it doesn't feel that amazing. It does slightly adjust the bike's geometry to make it feel a little bit snappier on the front. So now we need to speak about 700C. And 700C is equivalent to a 29 inch mountain bike wheel. So this is my Yoli R21 and this has 700C wheels on it. The first advantage to mention when it comes to 700C wheels are is because they're bigger, they hold higher speeds much better. So you get more value for your gearing. And although they may take a little bit longer to accelerate up to those speeds, when you get there, it's much easier to maintain that speed. The next thing to talk about is aerodynamics. So firstly, 700C wheels are typically much thinner. So they cut through the air much better. And also you typically use thinner tires on bigger wheels that are 700C. So again, aerodynamic advantage there. The next thing is rim profiles. So you'll notice here I'm using deep dish wheels. So typically in 650B, you don't get really many options for aerodynamic wheels. But when it comes to 700C, you get options to go from as small as 30 millimeter all the way up to 88 millimeter. The next advantage is tire choices. Unlike 650B, where you are quite limited when it comes to what tyres you want to do for doing lots of different kinds of riding, with 700C you get loads of road tyres, 
loads of gravel tyres, you even get a decent choice of mountain bike tyres as well. The next thing whenever we're talking about tyres is the simple fact of, as well, typically you'll use a smaller tyre and a bigger wheel, which gives the bike much less rolling resistance when you are on the road as well. One thing that we have to mention about 700C wheels compared to 650B is the fact that they may not be as nimble to work around objects, but because they are bigger and longer, when you go to go over objects, it's much easier. And this is what I call the roll over ability. So the bigger the wheel, the much bigger object it's gonna easily roll over. So now we need to speak about the disadvantages of 700C wheels. So the first thing is, like I mentioned earlier, they do accelerate slower compared to a 650B wheel that would be the same weight. So you do lose a little bit of acceleration when you go to 700C. The second thing to mention is they are less nimble and agile. So if you're doing really technical courses, and lots of off-road riding, it can be more challenging to throw that front wheel around compared to a 650B wheel. The next thing is tire clearance. So because 700C wheels are bigger, they sit closer to the frame. So you aren't able to fit tires as big into the frame as you would if you're running 650B. So if you're planning on some really gnarly off-road stuff and are gonna need mountain bike tires, you might struggle to fit them into the frame if you're using 700C wheels. So which wheel is going to be best for you? So in my opinion, if you're planning on treating your gravel bike like a mountain bike, so doing loads of off-road, technical trails, really giving it a lot of abuse and really challenging yourself on rough terrain, then the 650B wheel will be much better for you. It's going to be more nimble, it's going to be more agile, it's going to accelerate faster and with the ability to take wider tyres, it is just going to be better off-road. If you're planning on doing mainly road riding and light gravel, then the 700C wheel is going to be much better for you. It's going to be better at higher speeds, it's going to be able to maintain that speed much better, it's going to have better aerodynamic profiles and genuinely it's going to suit that riding much more. Thanks for watching today guys.